Hi everyone, my name is Yurgita. Welcome to my channel Tus in Half. That means thousand seas. It's because I live in Norway and that's the best name for the channel if you live in Norway. Here I share my knitting journey with you and today in this video I'm going to show the purchases I've made during the past month and I've also attached the photos of the things I want to knit. Let's start with the shiniest one. I ordered yarn with palettes. I ordered it in a, on AliExpress. And it's cotton with palettes. I ordered two balls of each color. There were maybe like 30 possible options. So, uh, I want to knit a summer top using palette yarn and I bought this Lila Larka from Dala Garn. That's a Norwegian yarn. It's 50 Merino 50 Egyptian cotton. It's nearly identical, not the same. So I want to knit a top. And I also bought 100 gram of this beige because I have let me cotton on the cone. Uh, I bought two cones of this cotton. It's it's really thin, but I knit. I have a, a top with like long sleeves and just a top without any sleeves and I used this thin yarn and I knit I guess I used num needles number two I bought it maybe six years ago I wanted to crochet a dress um, I was really inspired by uh, Vanessa Montaro She crochets very beautiful dresses and I bought it for this project but later I somehow burnt the CD burnt out and like now I'm just using it because it was really nice that's good quality so see it's also it's the same shade So I want a top like this as well and I bought two balls of this. In fact this I bought because I liked the color and the shine and I have no yarn for that to, to be partner with so they will be just for the beauty at least for a while. So I ordered it on AliExpress as I told you and it came in in around three weeks. So that's quite fast. And I learned about it on YouTube uh, watching Russian Russian girls and they say that quality is quite okay. So we will see. So they came in, in a pack like this but I just ripped it. Okay, and then this yarn. I have lot of a lot of yarn and I don't need more. So I decided not to, to buy yarn that is not on sale. And if the yarn is on sale and if I like it, if I like the color, it's not like any yarn on sale uh, is my aim. But if I like it, then only then I buy. Uh, and I came to the shop, our local shop yarn shop and I found this Dala Garn that's a popular company in Norway and there were many colors so I bought so I will tell you 
I bought this khaki color. I bought five or six balls and it's color 8144. It's they are all the same 50 merino 50 cotton. Then I bought this kind of skin color. I bought maybe eight of these. Then I bought this wet sand color. Oh, sorry, I didn't say the, the number. Uh, the color is 8152. Then I bought this wet sand color. It's 3033. Uh, I was planning, I think I bought this quite a lot. I was planning to, to knit a cardigan. I have no cardigans at all. I knit some cardigans, so I thought maybe a summer cardigan. And if I have this under, like a top or this under, they would all match, or even this. So, uh, and this ash rose, as you can see, that's one of my favorite colors at the moment. Uh, so it's color 8141, Lilla Larke, no, no, it's only Larke, I don't know what, maybe it has some meaning. So, so they will go with palettes. So that was purchase, two purchases, palettes and uh, a mix. Then I ordered yarn from my country and I saw some girls crocheting tops and they were using this yarn. This is company Nako. It's a Turkish, it's a Turkish brand. They are all, they're quite affordable. All this yarn is not expensive. And all Turkish yarn is, some really like it, some don't because most of it has, it's all woolen blends. There are only maybe some positions with pure wool and mainly it's like wool and acrylic. This one is 50% bamboo and 50% cotton. And if you are interested in color, it's 10, 21, 5. So, and I want to crochet uh, a sweater. I went to Pinterest to crochet sweaters and I found exactly the same pattern. So I simply took a screenshot, printed it out, and I will, I will make a sweater. It's also thin yarn. I think that's the same. Let me find the yarn. See, it's, it's the same. So let's see. Uh, I don't know where to look. For the here, it's a hundred gram ball and it has three hundred and seventy five meters. Quite okay, not that thin. So I bought a package, like a bundle, five five hundred grams. And when I was choosing the colors, I I will let me open it. I also saw this nice gray now when it comes it's like nothing very special it's gray but it has a bit of a yellow kind of shade uh, so I will use it for some projects as well but I think I will crochet the top using this color I don't remember how much I paid for this. Oh, sorry. And for this, for this Larke, 
Larky yarn. So, oh, I know, I know. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> I won't tell you. So I bought I bought 10 of these of this wet sand color. I bought because it says the code 81. Okay, I bought 16 of these. Why did I buy so many? Oh, I know. I wanted to buy like a sleeveless top and a cardigan. So I wanted to match. Then I bought six of six of something, it doesn't say. But I have two colors. And I bought them at the same time. Okay. And I bought two more here, balls. So, and I paid, and I paid 1,222 kroner. So it's in euros, that would be 122 euros. And it's all 50%. So imagine 200 euros it would be, it would have cost. I don't remember the price, but it's not expensive. And the last purchase that I've made, and I'm not going to buy anything more, <laughs> was also, it was on sale. The same local yarn shop. It's called Zenta. Zenta by Permin. It's Danish company, I guess. I haven't, I haven't knitted anything using Permin company's yarn. So it says 50% wool, 30% silk, and 20% nylon. I think it's this. Uh, how do you call that raw silk? How is it called? Mm. Okay, maybe I will remember while talking. Uh, because it has, it's not smooth, it's not silky, it's not, it's not glossy, it's matte. And it's not rough, it's soft, but it's like, it's different to the touch. And you can see little speckles of white so I when I saw this color I thought wow in winter when the world is gray the sky is gray the the ground is gray trees are gray I will be so bright now you see the right color I guess so I bought this color and one white so the color number is, no, it's party, oh, it's a very long number, 8833304. And I bought one white. I thought if I knit like prolonged raglan and then it's wide and then with narrow sleeves, and then for the cuffs here and there, if I knit cuffs, you like pink like the whole sweater. And then I have also knit another piece of cuff that is a bit longer using this one. For example, this would be two on two ribbing and this would be flat, just tucking it. And it would be sticking out a bit only on the cuffs and on the waistband. I thought that would give like even more color. The contrast it would give even more pink to this pink one. It's like a hot flamingo or fuchsia. So I bought, it says 10 together, two, four, six, seven. Okay, so I bought nine of these. It has 180 meters 
and one of these. So it's 10 balls. And I should have paid 620 kroners, so 62 euros. So I paid 31. So for a sweater made of wool, silk, nice blend, to pay 31 euro, I think that's okay. I already see it in stockinette, long raglan lines, narrow sleeves. And here maybe I would do no ribbing. I usually, when I do no ribbing, so I use provisional cast on uh, with a crochet hook, but I use the same color. And then when you've got the chain, you turn it and then you see the bumps. So I go with the crochet hook and then pick up the stitches from there and start knitting. And when you do this, this nice chain of like kind of knit stitches just stays here on the edge very nicely. You just have to make sure not to crochet too tightly. So there would be no ribbing and only here and at the bottom. So much about my new acquisitions. I wish I could have four arms, better six, so I could just work and work and work and work. And we're now when it's holiday, so I have a bit more time for that. I'm like a magpie, huh? What's shiny that attracts me? Really nice. So much about my purchases. I hope you enjoyed watching and got some inspiration. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, see you next time. Bye.